So guys, I am back with another Power World video. And in this video, guys, I'm going to showcase to you one of the best spots in this game to build that base. The opportunities here are endless in regards to farming them ingots and refined ingots because it's just an infinite spawn of ore, coal, trees for that wood. You name it, guys. It's a spot I haven't seen barely anyone talk about. And today I will explain all a complete guide and the materials you need to build a simple base here too for those beginner players. Let's go. Now, before we do go any further, guys, I'm giving away a couple copies of this game. To be with a chance of winning, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below, and make sure you are subbed with those notifications turned on. I will announce the winner in a couple of days at the end of the week. Good luck. Also, guys, come and join my community Discord, meet people to play with, talk about the game, all that good shit. My uh, Discord is linked down below. Come on over, chat to me, chat to whoever you want. Yeah, you'll enjoy your time there. Okay, so this is a spot I haven't seen barely anyone talk about. It was shown to me on my Discord, but I must give credit where it is a due, especially to the smaller YouTube channels. So credit to Nero Box. It's his video that was sent to me. He's a small time YouTube creator. So do check him out and show him some love. Again, his channel can be found linked down below. Okay, so this spot is incredible. It's about... I don't know, five, between five and ten oil rocks there, five and ten coal rocks there. They spawn on that day, well, respawn on that day cycle. It's an infinite, infinite amount of spawn you can do so you can create those refined ingots, those ingots, whatever else you need oil or coal for. It's a great, great spot, even wood too. Now, what I will do is I'll guide beginner players in everything you need to set up a simple base there, and then we'll get onto the powers you should be catching and using them to farm for you. So let's go. But well, first up, you'll need a, a power box. This consists of you having, obviously, um, one powder in fragment, eight wood and three stone. Now, we'll calculate all these together, guys, and you see on screen now, a complete calculation on all materials you will need. You'll also, guys, need beds, beds, sorry, bed, beds, beds, beds. Now, you'll need beds, sorry, and I'd say a minimum of probably 10 of these, but it just goes on how many powers you want farming for you. You can do five powers. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, you'll need a feed box, too. This requires 20 wood. Simple as that, and you'll need food to put in there. So yeah, don't forget about that too, guys. You'll need hot, I'd say you need hot springs to keep the, the sanity of your pals down. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind too. I mean, they ain't expensive to make, but I'd probably say you need between, I'd say five is completely fine. And these consist of 30 wood each, 15 stone, 10 powder and fragments, and 10 power flues, which you get for all those water type powers. Take them out, tame them, you get those power flues. Quite easy, to be honest. Um, and then you need a storage box, which is just 15 stone and what is it five wood yeah 15 stone and five wood simple as that and then optional extra guys if you want a primitive fern if you want to uh, basically furnace the metal while you're at the base if you haven't got another base to bring it back to you can have one of these two it's uh, 20 wood 50 stone and three flame organs so in total guys for that entire setup what i suggest you doing a minimum and that's with 10 beds and that's with five hot springs you need a total of 51 Paladin fragments again with five hot springs that is with 10 beds and five hot springs again you need 313 wood i'd say plus 20 wood on top for building foundations so you put your power box on um fiber you need 50 that's with 10 beds uh power fluids you need 50 of these and then you need three of that flame organs and then guys you need 133 of said stone it really is that simple these you'll see on screen now guys so yeah now the basis location we'll go to that's a great spot as well people i mean it's right there so you can see where i'm at not too hot not too cold so you can come up here guys against a safe and secure location you'll barely be raided up here uh, nearest fast travel points are we have the sealed realm of the guardian and we have Masanda Forest is the one up here too. We have the Sealed Realm of the Swift. And then we have the gold area here. So yeah, so let's just go here. And I'll show you the entire setup, people. Then we'll talk about powers I recommend you trying to get. Okay, so the foundations, I'd probably build, you don't have to build these. You don't have to, I just like the look of it. To this entire thing, guys, cost me about 20 wood. Wood foundations are so cheap, like two each, three each, it's crazy. But you can see, we have the coal rocks. One, two, three, there's one behind four, five coal rocks. I'm sure six coal rocks. There we go. And the oil rocks, you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think there's an eight somewhere, eight there behind. Now you want to set up your power box too. And this is the first thing you want to do. You want to make sure your power box covers the entire area because sometimes you've got too far this way, which is west. You won't get the edge of the, uh, the coal rocks, which is probably more important to be honest. So yeah, there's a chance you can miss out on this rock here. So 
So do keep that in mind. So uh, in regards to beds, you want to put them out of the way. You don't want them blocking any of the spawns or the rocks. So make sure you put them down before you start mining. And same with the hot springs. I mean, I've got how many there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, you don't need that many. I put them just been extra because I've had the materials on me. You definitely probably two or three would help you there. There's two or three people. Simple as that. And then, guys, I mean, I haven't built my furnace here yet, which I'm going to do. I've got the materials on me. I'm going to do it now. Uh, there we go. I'm just going to put you, say, out of the way, actually. I'll put you there. Can I put you on there? Yeah, I'll put you there. Just like so. And don't forget, guys, make sure you got feed box too. And make sure it's stocked up with food. Berries, whatever, guys, make sure it's stocked up with food because it's important for the sanity of your powers to keep and working keep and working people i mean i've got 2000 in mind completely fine okay so this is the setup guys and i'll show you from a bird's eye view uh, where's my baby there she is come with me so you can see that your mountain is so high up you ain't gonna get raided up here unless it's the birds unless it's the bird well you know like the wild beasts that come but other than that guys you can you kind of safe up here and if you've got a couple of decent leveled pals nothing's touching now but you can see it's a great spot for an early base and look at all the wood too look at all those trees you can farm too so it's an amazing spot i'm actually got a, a video coming the best base locations this is definitely going to be a part of it that's for sure and it's definitely one of the best but i thought i'd bring you guys an individual video on this so yeah okay so you go away okay so what about the pals okay so i truly truly recommend you come in and get in at least three of these the dig choices i mean if you can get five that's fine have as many as you want as quick as you want to farm these uh these rocks get as many of these as you want now dig toys does eat a lot and i mean a lot so keep that in mind but there's also the doom mud too these are great great farmers and miners there are better miners in the game but i'm saying for early game players as well these are definitely great so the dig toys comes from actually a couple of parts of the map but the easiest part is actually not far from here it's a little hot there, but to be honest, you can survive. You can take, I think they're around the level 20. So if we look at the habitat of where these are, forget top right. Top right is just crazy to do early game. But right there, guys, right in the middle of the map, there's a loads of them there. They're like a level 20, between about 17 and a 22. But if you come here, tame as many of these as you can. It doesn't require any special kind of sphere or anything like that. Decent ones uh, will do, but you don't have to have the best ones. Definitely don't. Uh, so yeah, you definitely want some of them. And in regards to, you want ones that are going to transport your gear. That's the most important part. You want things that are going to bring things to your storage box. Uh, don't forget to put your storage box down as well. You want to pull it as close as you can to the power box. I think actually, guys, with the latest update, you can put this closer now. Thinking about it, because when I built this last night, after the 1.30 patch, um how close it is it's ridiculous but put it as close as you can because when you pick these up for instance if i do this i'm now over encumbered and i can't move but i could fast travel back to my first base if i want to and that's if you've got another base and this is just going to be a, a farming base for you so keep that in mind so yeah in regards to transporters there's a certain few kind of powers i would recommend now this is something as well to keep in mind i mean it's very very important too a lot of powers in this game, although they will have a decent transport instead, like this one here, three, this one always seems to want to be farming wood first. So you want powers that don't have any other traits or any other work suitability uh, traits to them. You want just really ones like this here, the daydream. I mean, yes, it's got uh, handiwork and whatever, but this is a great, great power to help you in regards to transporting. All it does is constantly transport. And there's another couple too that are great. These are great. The lower level ones seem to be the best ones. Anything higher always seems to work on other things first. I mean, these are great, the Ozarks, but yeah, getting them early game is going to be a bit difficult. But um, these are incredible. The hang use, these are incredible for transporting. Probably the best I've seen in regards to just getting straight to what you want them to do. So let's have a look where they are. I can't actually remember, to be honest. I know I caught a couple and I'm thinking, these are actually best. I actually sold. I cleared out a lot of my powers yesterday and sold many of them, but I've got to go back and get more because these are amazing. It's just a transporting stat. That's the one you want to concentrate on in regards to transporting. And you can see, literally, guys, they're right by where the dig choices are. So keep an eye on them too. That's all you need. 
these and the dig toysies you're perfect you could do this all day that's probably the two you need the two best ones i mean again early game anyway especially so yeah and that's what you gotta do so i'll add mine to it now and show you how set the setup works so if my dig toysies ain't KO'd, they normally are so it's one two three four put you in there too put you in there too there we go put you there i've only got one of you but yeah you'll work the daydream like i said are great for transporting where are they there's one there but these are nighttime powers only so they only come out at night but they are literally everywhere on the map so yep now this one here great transporting but you'll go and help with the rock uh farming which i don't you don't need but again if you are strapped for certain powers i reckon the, the lower level ones are definitely the best ones to do this with as you just get straight to what you want them to do now where are my captivas they're also decent too uh there we go right there man yeah so there we go guys i've got 12 here but i've necessarily i've just i've gone over the top not needed and they will just constantly farm for you again make sure you have berries Again, if you want, if you need the um, the furnace here, build one. And if you do that, you will obviously need a decent fire type power. And there are many of them too. Early game ones, it doesn't really matter. If you're standing near AFK where they farm, the lower level ones are completely fine. Um, ones like the Urubis, ones like the these right here, the Kelpsies are quite decent. So yeah, guys, there's plenty you can do here. Even the Fox Parks, these are great too. But if you can get up to the higher levels. Uh, in regards to areas there's so many that are just unreal i've actually got my best ones at like my first base but yeah that's what you got to do guys again these guys eat a ton so you must remember that the dig toys is to eat an absolute ton so make sure your food is stocked up for sure but yeah over time guys you'll notice that they just constantly fill up these boxes with said vital materials and it just means when it comes to crafting the uh, ingots right here you can do this simple obviously you'll need power for the um the furnace the electric furnace which does the refined or you can just put one of these as well if you want to that's completely fine too but that will cost you 100 stone 30 cement and 15 flame organs so yes yeah, cement's probably the hardest to get there but it's not really necessary if you've got a first base and you can just farm the materials and take it back to it which is what i do anyway so yes guys an incredible base an incredible first base farming spot uh, for people out there looking to build or even looking for to farm said materials do what you gotta do and come to this spot guys and there we have it one of the best uh, building spots in the game without a shadow of a doubt so do what you gotta do guys come up here farm the shiz out of this and have fun with it guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one.